Hey guys, so I just finished building another wet panel carrier. This one is a 12 by 12. I'm, uh, I've decided that uh, when I go out and paint, I'm gonna just do 12 by 12s and 11 by 14s. Those will be my minimum sizes. I haven't ha been having much luck with the smaller um, panels. So it's kind of nice to have a little bit of room to uh, to sort of express yourself. So anyway, uh, this one's a little, has a different, I put a different kind of latch on this one. Um, and I like that much better than the other one. I had just some other little slide hook on the other, and sometimes that one um, actually came undone. Got my fancy little hinge on this side. It's just made out of cheap plywood. This is quarter, uh, eighth inch plywood from Lowe's. It was like $12 a sheet for a four by eight sheet, and then uh, just poplar on the sides. And one different thing I did this time was I actually, the inside rails here, I actually um, varnished in there or using varathane. I gave it two coats of varathane and now the panel slides in and out super easy, uh, which, would be, which is great because it can be frustrating when you're finished with your painting and you're trying to fight to get the panel into the wet panel carrier. Uh, this will be nice to just be able to have it slide right in there and uh, just, you know, close the box up and you're on your way. So anyway, I'm heading to the coast. One thing I'm going to try to do today, I don't know if I'll be painting on the beach or if I'll be painting in some of the uh, sort of farm areas over there. But one thing I want to do is I want to kind of explore some of the roads that are like side roads and everything. Because what happens is a lot of times I'll be driving down Highway 1 which is a sort of, you know, it's a two lane, but it's fairly, you know, people are moving quickly and you can't really stop. There's nowhere to pull over and paint. And, you know, I constantly see things as I'm driving and I'm like, oh, that would be great to paint, but there's nowhere to, there's nowhere to set up. So I need to get off that main highway one and just kind of take some of the side roads and kind of explore out into the farm areas. That way, if I see something when I'm driving on those roads, Typically, there's nobody out there and uh, nobody on those roads, so I can easily pull over and paint, especially during the week. So that's the goal. Uh, if that sounds fun, come on along. I'm going to pack up and hit the road. Okay, so I've pulled over by this old pumpkin farm and... Uh, I'm just kind of looking around and it looks like there's some pretty interesting shadows on the road. So I think I'm going to just do a simple sort of road and tree landscape to start off. So I'll show you what I'm looking at. So I can already see where a larger canvas like say maybe like a 16 by 20 or 18 by 24 would actually really work uh, just because of the small sort of areas of light. Um, but uh, I'm going to do 11 by 14 and give it my best. Okay, so I'm just uh, taking my eyes off the canvas for a little bit. I just did the, um, uh, it's sort of a value, I don't even know if that's a value study. I don't know the terms. Um, but it's just, I just kind of divided things into light and dark using a sort of ultramarine uh, as shadows and then leaving the rest for light. It's definitely a complicated scene, um, but I'm really concentrating on getting a good composition and um, like I said, I can tell already that with a 16 by 20 or a larger canvas, it would be actually easier, I think, and faster because a lot of the shadow shapes are kind of small. And anyway, so, uh, but uh, we'll make do with this 11 by 14. It's really nice out here. So uh, really comfortable. Um, I could be out here all day. So, but I'm really, <laughs> I'm really going to try to get a good painting this time. I'm really trying. So let's see what happens.
Okay, so I'm starting a new tradition. I've got my I've got my little picker upper here. And so I decided that wherever I paint, uh, I'm gonna spend a few minutes cleaning up. And uh, this place is pretty clean, but there is a little bit of trash, so I'm gonna start picking it up. Okay, so I actually managed to find a whole bag of garbage. Um, a small bag, just like a small plastic shopping bag. I'm at Taqueria and Pescadero and having a little bit of Mexican food. $5.45, can't beat that. Okay, this burrito is really good, but it is so freaking spicy. It doesn't look too bad, but man, that stuff is hot. Anyway, I'm sitting here trying to figure out what went wrong with the painting, and I think it was just too complicated. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do another one and try to keep it really simple. So I managed to do one more painting in Pescadero after I had that incredibly spicy burrito. And it was kind of a spontaneous thing. Uh, I'll show you a picture of it, or I'll video it in a few minutes when I get back to the car. I'm at Pescadero uh, State Beach right now, just doing a little cleanup just to stretch my legs and uh, manage to uh, pick up a bag of trash here. Although the beach is really pretty clean, but a few bottles here and there. Anyway, uh, yeah, my legs get so stiff from standing, especially doing two paintings in a row. Anyway, uh, it's a few minutes before sunset and somebody left a chair out on the beach, so I'm taking advantage of that, resting my legs, enjoying the sound of the waves and uh, I'll go back to the car in a few minutes. Um, yeah, the other painting turned out a little bit better, but still, it was still a struggle. <laughs> I'll get this figured out. I'll get it figured out. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so a few minutes before sunset, I'll show you the sunset when it happens. Okay, so I am back at the car. Hopefully there's enough light uh, for you to see this. The challenge was that the actual, uh, the buildings in the shadow were really warm, but every time I kept uh, warming them, them up, it sort of killed the light effect. So, but anyway, overall, um, there's some good stuff going on in there and I can touch that up, but it's a good spot to go back to. So I was on private property. I wanted to make a quick go of it, but I met the farm owner Jose and he was like very cool so I will definitely go back there and I will paint that building again um, so anyway sorry I didn't get to film that uh, you know like do the process of that last painting but uh, it's just one of those days <laughs> overall a good day though so anyway thanks for hanging out and I will see you in the next one